supposed to be the first Australian chain on the Lord's Island book? Um, oh yeah, <laughs> definitely, no doubt. Um, oh, still, I'm still struggling to get my head around it, to, to be honest. Especially, I had my eye on the um, on the batting side of things to try and get a get a hundred at Lords in my first test year, but uh, unfortunately that wasn't meant to be. But um, yeah, to be able to get it as a bowler is yeah, really it's going to take a while for me to really get my head around it because it's something that you know, but I've, over the last few days leading up to this test, I worked really hard on a few things on my bowling, and um, for it to come together in in this test match, I knew I had to work on a, on a couple of things, especially because the last sort of three or four months, my bowling hasn't been exactly where I wanted it. So, for it to come together today has been brilliant. Anything in particular? Oh uh, yeah, it's just more so finding a way to be able to swing the ball. I know my um, my pace has probably slightly dropped a little bit. Um, um, and I think I knew, I knew I needed to do something with the ball. Um, so to give myself more of a chance of being able to make the most of the conditions, especially especially here in England when the ball is swinging conventionally and does swing just about all day because of the Duke ball. So um, and the conditions were absolutely perfect today. Over, overcast conditions meant that the ball swung all day, as well as a bit of seam movement as well. So um, I definitely had to make the most of the conditions because I knew how hard it was, even um, yesterday morning, how hard it was to, um, to bat with the ball swinging and seaming around. So. It's nice to be an all-rounder to, if you miss out with a bat, and make make the most of conditions that are a little, a little bit more favourable um, to the bowling. Shane, uh, Smith took a few in the first innings. Do you guys confident going into uh, bowling going pretty well? That Harrison had uh, two debuts on three and four position point positions. What's it like going? Down? Yeah, well, I think we knew we actually done a, a pretty good job of getting 250 on that wicket, and the way the conditions were, um, it was swinging and seeming around a lot yesterday. So. And Pakistan did bowl well, so I think we did a really good job to be able to get to be able to get to two or just over 250. And we and we knew that if we did bowl how we wanted to, um, with a little bit of inexperience, especially in the really important spots three and four um, in the batting order, we knew that you know we could we could do some damage there. So it proved proved that today. But we're going to have to try and re repeat that um, at some stage tomorrow again. So hopefully the conditions do stay the way they are now with the with a little bit of drizzle to keep freshening up the wicket and. Um, the sun stays behind the clouds, so we can actually keep the ball swinging around, which would be nice. You look to have particularly enjoyed the wicket of Shahid Afridi. Do you have any idea what the reaction would have been if, say, you'd have come out at 5 for 83, gone out and better like that, and come into the dressing room? I'm not exactly sure. I've never done that before, so <laughs> <laughs> and probably never will. Um, no, that's just the way Shahid, Shahid plays. I think that's a, probably the only way he knows how to play, is to be able to come out and take the attack to the, to the opposition. And I think that's the reason why people love him, but also people can get a little bit frustrating with him at times as well. But I had, had no answers for a couple of Every time I bowled somewhere, the ball that I, that I felt came out well, he just hit it for four or six. So it was nice that um, he, shanked an, he shanked one of my in-swingers to be able to, um, to get him out because he can do some damage, especially if it, if it really is his day. Um, he, can, he can take the game away from me pretty quickly, the way he's batting like that. So... Um, yeah, but I'll never really, I don't think I'll ever experience anything like that, number number seven in a test match. Mitch, go on. Sorry. Uh, Shane, it's quite extraordinary. Like, your best moments in test cricket probably have been at the, the biggest stages like the MCG and, and the other awards. So it must, it must be a big thrill, I guess. That. Oh, no doubt it is, yeah, definitely. I think, um, like the MCG test last year, or well, you will wish, yeah, last year, get it right. Um, yeah, it was a, a, my first MCG test. It was a very special moment to be able to, Give a name up on the honour board there with all the the names um, of the legends who played at that at that stage was was pretty amazing. So yeah, my first test here. Just to, I've been looking up the board, both boards, the bowlers, bowling and the batting, but especially the bowling actually because seeing Keith Miller up there and what he's what he was able to do, um, getting ten wickets in in a test match um, here a number of years ago. Um, he's you know someone who really it's, continues to inspire me is what he was able to achieve in the game. So. Yeah, to get my name up um, on the honour board. Unfortunately, it wasn't against England, but um, to do it in a, in a Test match here at Lords is yeah, still still pretty hard to imagine. Do you feel you can get a chance to swing in Australia as you're getting out there, or is it sort of conducive to these conditions? Um, yeah. yeah, well, the ball's definitely more conducive to, especially when I when I normally get the ball, which will be a little bit after the shines come off the kookaburra. So um, normally the ball doesn't really swing anywhere near as much as it does um, with the Duke ball. So um, but the, on the flip side of that in Australia as well, the ball ball can go reverse as well pretty quickly. So um, 
so you've got to try and make the most of the situations that you that you get presented with. So I think in Australia, a lot of the time, it's definitely a lot more reversed than actually, which will be normal conventional, because of the way the balls actually they they are. So I knew I knew over the last couple of days leading into this Test match that I have to try and make the most of these juke balls with my bowling because they do swing all day, um, and you can continue to shine them shine them up um, throughout the whole day. So. It's definitely something on you. I do try and make them right, make myself. Mitch Brawl bowled a pretty decent spell at the other end when you were taking your wickets. How close to his best form do you think he is at the moment? He bowled beautifully today, didn't he? Um, just, you just you could see him working over the working over the batsman every single every single over. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, 